Good morning everyone, my beloved students grade 1. Yeah, so today we will continue our lesson about valuable chain English. Yeah. For today we will learn about this one. Yeah. The development. Yeah. The development of communication tool. Perkembangan alat komunikasi. Alat yang kita gunakan sehari-hari untuk berkomunikasi. Kalau sekarang if today, if the present uh, we use smartphone, we use a uh, handphone, and yeah, mostly we use gadget, right, to have a communication, to communicate with the others. But how about the people that live in the year before we live today? I mean, in the last year, in the past year, in the past century, before handphone not invited, before we do not have smartphone like today uh, so let's see together yeah so for the definition about communication tools communication tools is used to send or receive a message between two person or basically to deliver a message jadi it is used untuk mengirim atau menerima pesan okay message in here about information yeah information through uh, word to orally secara lisan using uh, between one person to another person mostly yeah to giving information with you and maybe with your dad or with your family or with, uh, even with your friends so like if you have information about oh coronavirus has been uh Erase or eradicate from this universe. And, uh, you can see the information maybe from if today you can see from television news or you can even you can use your smartphone to find the information through email or maybe through med, uh, social media. Nah, but that is the communication tool, the function of communication tool. Jadi itu fungsinya uh, alat komunikasi to deliver or to receive message or information yeah or news nah between two person or maybe with uh, another person not just with two person that's the basic definition atau pengertian dasar about communication tool okay nah next nah we will continue about the next slide about the development of communication tool now if you Maybe for today, it's easy for us to get new information, to get the up-to-date information using phone. We can see from television, and then we can find in the internet using laptop. Nah, but how if to all people, the people before today, um, our grandparents, our maybe grandmothers, and the people who lived before 20th century, what they use to communicate when uh, the smartphone or the handphone no, has not been invade, invented before, sebelum ditemukan, what would they, what they use? Nah, so, in long time ago, before maybe you were born, before Mr. Martin was born even, they use animals to help people to send Leather, yeah, that's right. So, as you can see from this picture, if you ever know information about pigeon, nah, pigeon is the very effective ways from people to deliver a message. Not just pigeon, actually. Actually, they can use horse, they can use dog, even they can use rabbit sometimes, or even rat or mouse. Nah, but mostly they use this animal when would when they are not invented the smartphone or the phone or anything kind of communication that using wireless or using cable like this year like today yeah so long time ago before people invented a new technology to communicate they using animals help to send the letter or to send the information can you imagine how many days to give uh, information to another people? 
if just the people is just near you the location is just near from your house it's okay maybe just take a few hours but how if the people live in another island or live in another country you have to train the animal right kalian harus melatih animalnya dulu untuk bisa tahu tempatnya di mana using pigeon or maybe even you can ride a horse bisa mengendarai kuda ya to go there but it it takes a long time to deliver a message to deliver a letter how imagine that uh, usually people use to send information to win war now long time ago they used to use animal to help them win a war untuk memenangkan perang or maybe before the world war sebelum perang dunia they use letter to send maybe information about something important to a people they love or maybe to another government between kingdom to kingdom antara kerajaan nah they also use animals but it takes a long time to deliver a letter Now after that, then the people change, and then times goes wrong. People invented this one telegraph. Now, if you see this one, you can see from the movie in the war movie like Pearl Harbor, and then kind of war cinema. Okay, so mostly. They use telegraph to send or to communicate through Morse code. Menggunakan kode Morse. Nah, from the animation, you you can see that that, that the big uh, the person press a certain button, and the button send the signal to the person who have to receive the message. So it's like a code, yeah. And you need to break the code. What is the meaning? So every single touch have a meaning. Uh, so you can see that's how difficult they are to communicate and mostly they use this thing to uh, giving a news about uh, where is the enemy and the strategy of the strategy of war so mostly they use this one for what war but not just for war but another uh, important things okay this is the long time ago now uh, but today people always develop okay actually to develop the communication tool untuk mengembangkan communication tool it depends on the human the human is smart they always try to find how to make their life getting easier 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 in in every day in every minute in every seconds now today uh, the, in the modern way in the modern technology we use a modern communication tool to help us easier to communicate membantu kita lebih mudah lagi lebih gampang lagi untuk berkomunikasi dengan even with the people in outside the country outside the region of our area even you can talk with your parents or maybe with your family in another country bisa telepon bisa berkomunikasi dengan uh, saudara kalian yang ada di luar negeri ya kan it's just in a second you just Hang up the phone and up the call and then you just directly can talk with your parents or with your family. Beda dengan zaman dulu. In a long time ago, they need a long, long time because to deliver a message needs a difficult way. Ya? Tapi untuk sekarang cukup angkat telepon, pencet nomor, sudah langsung terhubung. Now, what is the development of the communication tool? Now, if you see maybe your parents now, or your grandparents still using this one. Cable telephone, telephone with cable you remember it. <laughs> so they still use telephone, but the telephone still using cable. Yeah. So it's different with the smartphone today. It's much much easier than using telegraph, but still we cannot bring the telephone everywhere like today. After that, people try again a new method how to can communicate with another people in everywhere. Not just in our home, because if you use telephone, uh, this is telephone in your home that still use cable. Uh, you need to put power to the electricity power, right? 
to get the phone connected uh, so it's still hard and then the humans try again think again how to uh, have a new technology to can uh, so we can communicate in everywhere next they can find pager <laughs> this is a uh, old things old communication tools maybe in no days is very rare sangat jarang sekali people use this kind of thing but maybe your parents when they use in the 90s or 80s di tahun 80 atau 90-an this communication tool is very famous it's so much easier they can put the pager in the pocket and can take everywhere and they can texting with the other persons okay so they can get easier to bring the tools in everywhere but still there is um lack of this uh, of this communication tool masih ada kekurangannya it's not like today the smartphone so pager just used to texting they cannot send a voice message they cannot send a video message recorder right so they just use this one to texting and you need to have the same frequency to text to people that you want to jadi harus mempunyai frekuensi yang sama so it's mostly like radio you need to find the frequency right so we cannot use uh, like for today we just put the number then we can connect with the other people but using pager no we we do not use number we use the frequency like signal like radio okay so actually it's more easy to use telephone with cable but the lag thing or the, the less uh, we cannot bring the telephone cable everywhere but we can bring pager everywhere but it's just texting and need the same signal frequency now nah, and people think again think again this is for communication tool with uh, using word yeah but if you want to giving uh, something like important letter like money or everything you can use vessel or telegram nah, not telegram like application in phone but telegram to sending uh, money and important letter using post office yeah maybe you can ask with your father now after people try to invent or find a new way to get more easier now we can have gadget we can have smartphone now, today is the modern era we use handphone or cellular phone to communicate as you can see you can you just tap the phone you just tap the screen and then you, you just type the number and then press call then you can call with your friends even not just from voice call but you also can using video call right you can see their face you can see your father or your family face when you're a family in another country and it makes you like having communication face to face jadi seperti komunikasi tatap muka walaupun jaraknya jauh even though the distance is so far away but handphone or smartphone make us easier not just using voice message but we can use our smart uh, our smartphone to send email to send important letter even we can transfer money withdraw using phone kita bisa transfer uang using our handphone using our smartphone we can record video we can take a picture and then if you want to do something like make an application we even we can use our phones so it's so so uh, far away from an old technology to the modern technology right now so it's like a big development perkembangan yang sangat besar the significant development from the people ya yeah? so from the 90s or 80s years before dari tahun 1980-an to the 21 century now abad 21 it has significant improvement or development from communication tool like today 
so to communicate like today you just use your phone you, you can use your phone to do to do zoom to do video call is so hard thing to do memerlukan usaha keras so you must be grateful <laughs> yeah you must be grateful to live today because you can use your phone because when Mr. Martin went uh, in the elementary school Mr. Martin did not have phone because phone is so much expensive in my time when Mr. Martin in elementary school so if you want to communicate with the people outside your region the people in the far away you need go to the wartel <laughs> maybe your father or your parents still remember wartel warung telecommunication so this is a shop but in this shop it's just uh, you can use this one the telephone cable and you have to pay the money to can to can communicate with the people or your family in another way in the far away distance so yeah we we use wartel so, but that's still expensive yeah even if you want to call in an hour you need to pay more than 10,000 or 5,000 in that time but for today you just use, you just use your smartphone you can use the wi-fi and voila you can have a video call you can have zoom so you must be careful and use the smartphone today wisely now after we see the development of communication tool then what is the benefit of communication tool of course they have a benefit right for number one the benefit now you always up to date with the newest information i'm sorry this should be aria not the information so from the youtube and then you can see from the online news you can know now you can see how oh, the coronavirus have been found at the vaccine and then how many people have died because of the coronavirus or you can know the news information about what happened in our country uh, just using your hand using your phone in your hands you always getting up to date about the news information selalu mendapatkan informasi-informasi yang paling baru informasi apapun itu the next benefit we can deliver the message as soon as possible means if you want to text your father or you want to tell your father like daddy i need the money or daddy i want uh, fried chicken i want uh, french fries you just hang up your phone you use your phone call your daddy just in a second you ready to pick up your phone and okay i will give you some french fries or i will give you some maybe drink okay so it's easy for today it's more, more easier for today just in a second you can send the message next one ah social interaction i'm sorry i need uh, this one social interaction for number three means that you can use the phones to communicate with people you can have a social interaction you can communicate with another people the separate interaction social yeah okay you can use the view phone to have social interaction jadi tidak hanya melihat uh, layar hp saja not just see the instagram not just see the facebook but you can also use the phone to communicate with the people the next benefit is yeah we can communicate to everywhere and anywhere easily so even as Mr. Martin said before if you want to communicate with your family in another country you just use your phone and you can have a voice message or even you can use a video message with your family even though your family may be in another country yeah so phone or smartphone connected everyone in another region in every side of the world jadi menghubungkan kita semua dengan setiap orang di berbagai belahan dunia
yeah so that is so these are the benefit of the communication tool nah. thanks how to communicate nicely the rules to communicate kita sudah tahu perkembangannya kemudian jenis-jenis komunik uh, communication tool kita juga harus tahu aturannya the attitude how to communicate the first one the first one you know you need to speak clearly and politely and then do not yelling speak clearly means uh, speak uh, with a nice voice with nice word dengan jelas dan sopan the next part do not yelling tidak boleh teriak-teriak oke okay, when you call somebody please speak uh, softly dengan lembut dengan perlahan oke okay. and the next one use nice word means still yeah the same politely menggunakan kata-kata yang baik if you talk with your father or your parents use the nice word like using saya aku not like when you speak with your friends like you use lu gue using something like slang word menggunakan kata-kata gaul nah it's not appropriate yeah when you use when you have phone with your father or maybe your family or with the elder people orang yang lebih tua okay the next one do not interrupting okay do not interrupt or do not cut the word jangan di potong ketika seseorang sedang menjelaskan when somebody is explaining about something through the phone or maybe in the zoom when your teacher explain the lessons do not cut do not interrupt when you yelling to your parents maybe you are uh, say something to another people it's meant like interrupt it's like disturbing yeah mengganggu when people explain so you can if you use zoom you can mute the microphone and then you can Uh, say with your friends or you say with your family in your house so that means do not interrupt and then the next one do not phone or text at late time now nah, this one you have to respect people because we need to have a rest why when you want to do some uh, accept this is urgent kecuali sangat sangat mendesak like you need to call ambulance or you can You, you need to call police nah you can call them in the late night di tengah-tengah malam mungkin bisa karena this is urgent but if this is something not urgent like if you can see the information from another way it, and it's not necessary to text or phone so please do not do it when it's already late night already more than office hours lebih dari jam kerja atau mungkin jam waktunya people to rest people to sleep nah you have to be wise do not phone or text the person maybe if not really necessary or it's not really urgent you can text or phone in the morning okay or in the next day nah so that's why you have to use the communication tool wisely nah dari keseluruhan tadi cara-cara berkomunikasi attitude-nya kemudian jenis-jenis komunikasinya Still, you have to use the communication tool wisely, dengan bijak, dengan cara kalian sendiri ya. Because I know you have uh, the newest technology, you have the up-to-date technology, but if you not use wisely, if you not use kindly, dengan, uh, for a good way, for appropriate way, it's just useless, tidak, tidak berguna. Karena to communicate something good, it means you bring A good thing you bring happiness to other people. Dikomunikasi dengan cara yang baik itu membawa kebahagiaan, membawa sesuatu, something positive to other people. Ya, yeah? okay, yes. So I think that's all for today about the development of communication tools. Thank you for watching, Miss Martin. A video explanation. We will see you again on the next method. Okay. So goodbye. Keep safe, everyone. Bye bye.